Okay, I've never really done anything like this before, so I hope this goes smoothly the very first time. So I'm gonna open these packages. I haven't opened these yet, I'm really excited to be able to. Um, this is the one from Sandy Queen. This will be her Essential Vitality. And this is the Myrrh. And this is gonna be longer than necessary only because I have to open all these and get the bottles out. Just for those of you that wanna just see all the steps of the process. So this is her Essential Vitality Myrrh. And I'm going to be moving this into some brand new sample bottles that will all look the exact same. Next we have, I believe it was the Young Living, well, it doesn't matter which one came next, but this is the one I'll open with now. The Young Living. Very nicely packaged. There's that. And we have doTERRA. And I'm going to be opening these and smelling them and trying my best to explain how they smell and it will be very interesting to see how the quality matches up with the smell. Okay, so here's the doTERRA myrrh right here. And it's Sydney was also kind enough to send two different size bottles, the sample bottles for us to use for the Dopplers. Because I want them all to look the same. These are a little bit bigger. And these, this, actually this is the size I'll probably use, the 1 ml. So I'll probably also put those to the side. And these look like the lids. Drop our parts. Okay, so that's that. Then we have this is the Oracacia that came today. Right here. Okay. So it was out of the way. And this would be the Mountain Rose Herbs. So this is, okay, so the only organic one here is Sandy Queen's Essential Vitality. Um, I was just checking out the Mountain Rose Herbs. This must be their Wild Crafted. And so these are all the myrrh. And just make sure you can see them on the camera. Yep, okay. So I need to get them probably a little bit closer. So you can see these. Okay. So So, let me get these bottles ready. Try to do this with gloves, just in case. You know, I would feel better if gloves were worn. Just to make sure there's no transfers of anything, if I can possibly help it. Okay, as long as I can work with the gloves. They're a little bit awkward, but we can do it. So I'm gonna do one at a time here. I'm just looking to check to see how full this is. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna be dropping this in. So I wonder if I could. This is gonna be a slow one, I think. <laughs> um, 
Not sure what the best way is to open these up. Let me try to grab a knife. This is actually kind of a big knife, but. These stoppers are actually on really good. I know the bigger bottles, ah, excellent, that wasn't too bad. The bigger bottles are a lot easier to pour out of. It smells very good. I've never smelled myrrh before that I'm aware of. So here I am, I hope you can see this well. I can't really tell exactly how I'm looking here. Okay, so that's about as empty as I can get it. I'm gonna grab one of these lids. I'm not gonna bother putting the stopper in, although I appreciate them being sent. I just think it would be a lot easier for everybody if I didn't use them. Okay, so that's this. I will be labeling these. I'm just gonna not do that on this very first step here. Okay, here's the next bottle. This is the Young Living Myrrh. As you can see, I just cracked that open. Hmm, I'm not sure exactly what I was expecting from myrrh. I'm, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure what I think about it yet. So I'm just trying to get this started in here. Okay, it is getting on my gloves, so I will be changing my gloves. Okay, there we go. Drip, drip, drip. Just gonna try to get it to about the shoulder. Okay. Um, okay, so the lids are over here. So that is now, yeah, I can get it on. Okay, so that is closed. Like I said, I did get oil on my fingers for this one, so I will be taking them off and getting a new pair. Just to be safe. Okay, so I'm gonna get back on this bottle for Young Living. Make sure, yep, yeah, nope, not going on. So that was just on there. Okay, doTERRA is going to be next. please. Okay, so here's the doTERRA. Probably, actually, it smells about the same. I'll do another sniff test when I'm finished. One right after the other. They do smell pretty much the same so far. I'm trying to get this one started. There it goes. Probably have to change my gloves again just to be sure. No, Ryan. Sorry, my child who's supposed to be occupying himself decided to uh, not. So this is slowly coming out. All right. I hope you're like multitasking out there as you're watching this. I just, I know some of you are just, you want to make sure that things are done correctly and I, I certainly don't blame you and I'm trying to go quickly yet still do this right. So I'm sure those of you that are watching are going to be the ones that care the most about watching the whole process here from beginning to end. All right. So, I'll grab some more gloves. Just make sure you guys can see this. Okay, good, excellent. I just have to check the camera because my camera doesn't have one of those screens where I can see what I am seeing or what you guys will be seeing. All right. So, Acacia will be next. New bottle. Looks like this one's going to come out a little easier. The dropper on it's a little bit different. There we go. Is that? Yep. 
it's almost actually to the top already. Sometimes it's hard to see. Okay, so that's good. Good. Oops. It actually doesn't look like I got any oil on my gloves, but I will go ahead and change them anyways. Just so we know. And finally, we'll have Mountain Rose Herbs. Okay. This will be the final one. Crack that one open. Okay. Yep, yeah, these all generally ta taste, smell about the same. There's something almost antiseptic to how these, the myrrh smells. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite aromas, but I do know that just because it doesn't smell super pleasing doesn't mean it's not helpful because there's so many good things in myrrh. Definitely has healing properties. Myrrh was the essential oil that I did the profile on last week. Do it this way. Kind of shake it in there. Myrrh is one that you can put directly on your skin without needing to dilute it. Just good to know. Come on. Almost there. Drop by drop, for sure. Okay. Oh! Okay. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? Well, now you all saw I made this massive error. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is grab a new bottle. Fortunately, I do have another one. And also, fortunately, all the samples are already in their bottles, so we know there's no contamination there. It's just my counter and my face and my shirt. And it's good for skin, so fortunately, I don't have to worry about that. The only issue now is I have to do that all over again. So here we go again. Mountain Rose Herbs. I'm so glad I had another bottle. That would have not been good. I mean, I do have um, two sizes here that were sent to me. So I would have been able to use the bigger bottle, but they wouldn't have all appeared to be the same. So, okay. Holding on to this one a little bit better. I think the oil is probably dripping in between my fingers and these gloves is pretty slippery. Almost there. Hold on to this good. Well, see, this wasn't so boring after all, was it? Almost there. Okay. Grab the lid. Put it on without it falling. Good. Hey, I did it. All right. So here we go. Essential Vitality, Young Living, doTERRA, or acacia, mountain rose herbs, all in their bottles, in their little sample bottles, right in front of the bottles that were sent to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label them temporarily. Right here, the Young Living. Actually, I'm gonna put another piece of tape on that. Temporarily by, right now for you guys um, watching the video, you're going to be able to see these are going to all be marked corresponding to the bigger bottles that they came from. And then what I'm going to do is shut off the video or pause it, restart it, 
immediately thereafter and replace these little, the ones identifying which samples that they are with numbers. I'm going to mix these up so that nobody will know until after the results are back which one's which, but then there will be also a verification to prove which one is which. Just for any doubters out there. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video.